Nothing like getting your ninos involved and helping you bring in the groceries. So satisfying. Folks, here is the haul, sloppy style, and now we're gonna watch me rearrange this so that you can see it all beautiful. went out of the house for a brief moment to help the children with something and Rusty took one look at this and was like, I can do better. And you know what folks? He is amazing at what he does. All right, here we are. Another episode of Cruise Food. And what I heard from y'all was you wanted to see less of my old food going out and more of what I am putting into this body to look this, what was my phrase? It's 40 look, and fly. 40 and fly, because you want to be 40 and fly. I want to um, look like you at 40, and others of you are like, I just want to have your energy or attitude at 40. And I really feel that for any of you who want either my looks at 40, or my energy, or my attitude at 40, whatever bit of me um, can throw it or bits of me you don't want, because I am certainly not a perfect human being, um, but whatever bits you're looking at me, I mean, like, I would like a little bit of that, right? Um, where am I getting it all from? I am getting it all from what I'm putting on or in my body on a regular basis and uh, getting it from a few other sources also, but that is that is certainly one of them. And so got told, you know, spend more time talking about what you're putting in, less time what you're taking out. Although I think a very important thing is what you're taking out. So as everyone knows, GFGFO people took me decades. That's why I can't even like put this stuff out there till I'm fit and fly at 40 because it took me decades to get here because as you all know if there's a diet book or a diet plan out there that's been written I have tried it. all right so what I'm telling you all about now is not um you know if I'm saying it's the secret sauce it is because I have tried all those other sauces and they did not give me the ease or the energy or the body that I wanted and so now that I have actually found what I view as the easy secret sauce. I want to share it, folks, and it is GFGFO, and here is a sampling of my most recent cruise food, GFGFO haul, and as everybody knows, if my children start a company like this, I'll be so proud. So proud, Rusty. I love my chocolate. I was all out of my chocolate. I think you all saw the funny chocolate video I did where I had a bunch of empty boxes in the freezer, so it was like a little tease, and I was like, chocolate, chocolate, I haven't had this many empty boxes of chocolate. All right, this is, around, this is what I just discovered, Rusty. The feeling when you raise a bunch of empty boxes and no chocolate. Uh -oh. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. oh, no. The feeling when you thought you had a freezer full of chocolate yeah. and you discover you have nothing. Yeah. My system obviously oh, yeah broke apart oh, so um, literally that's like my list and then it's knowing that you like didn't i thought i had so much chocolate and i obviously have very little chocolate oh my gosh so, there's oh. always backup chocolate yeah but this is the as everybody this knows this is the addiction this is the addiction this is the the chocolate du jour this is the kind of chocolate du jour and it's always a uh, a rough day in the cruise room when uh the chocolate du jour is unexpectedly not in stock oh, all right but i'll be oh. i'll be fine all right 
Um, but I'm so excited I gotta get this in the freezer because I need a fix right now, people. Uh, we are still gonna be doing that whole little short or episode on um, eggs and how most of y'all are being lied to about your eggs or lied to and how I use the word about your eggs. And that, you know, I still believe in those grass-fed eggs and I know those chickens are not eating the grass, but they're eating the little bugs among the grass or whatever else they can find there. And that's what you wanna be eating. You don't wanna be eating more grain. All of us have so much grain in our diet. So um, you already know that dessert around here, especially for the Ninos is, um, and Taylor in particular, obsessed with frozen blueberries. So we um, we got those flats, made our own, but now we're back to what's available. We call them the little frozen blueberries. Everybody knows these are our favorite papas and we do go through a lot. Um, our pizza sauce, but we also use our pasta sauce. This is that vegan sour cream. So for those of us who are choosing to try no dairy or whatever we are, we have this. Um, and here is our meat haul. So anybody watch Last Cruise Food knows that I, I'm a salmon eater on my nights alone. So normally that's what sometimes Rusty and I are doing on our dinners, but Taylor's now doing this. So we did like our first surf and turf, Rusty. It was amazing. I got to eat salmon with my daughter. So she was, and she's so funny. I, you never know sometimes where the children get their ideas from, you know? But she was literally, she like said that to a saw the salmon, and she's like, that's good for my joints and I need to be more athletic. And I was like, all right, that's not my talking point, but sure, that's what I would love to feed you some salmon. So uh, I'm not arguing that's good for your joints, but it was, you know, it was like, it was some other adult information who was clearly trying to get salmon into her. It was like so interesting. I was like, hey, I'll yeah. probably want to feed you salmon then. Um, everyone knows. Rusty and I love our film film. Again, this is like a Sarah Night Alone special right here. Uh, it's like literally, I might be cutting this out. I'm not telling you where I'm shopping. I'm not telling you what it is. You know, forget it ever um, Here was in that last um, haul, I said that Marin Living Foods just got a new logo and brand. Everyone knows Rusty and I are obsessed with aesthetics here. And I love it. On, on the website, they make this gold. So I thought it was going to be even sexier. But that's still pretty sexy, folks. That's a good brand. Rusty almost needs to put his own face on the camera here because he just did this face that was like, no, do your little mm-hmm. Rusty just did this mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. He approves. He approves. Whoever designed this, that's a solid brand redo, just so you know. Um, I'm excited, it's been very hard to get that grass-fed chicken, but they at least had chicken legs, so we'll go with that, even though we more prefer our chicken thighs. But I'll take the chicken legs because they're grass-fed, but there's clearly something going on in the market because I cannot get my 100%, I can get my 100% grass-fed full chickens real easy, but I cannot get the dark meat real easy or even the white meat. The noodles that we all love and do so many things with. Rusty's back in the house. I gotta keep him stocked. I haven't bought these in so long, I felt weird. I was like, oh my God, but he's already gone through it. His line of drinks is almost finished. <laughs> my line of drinks had nothing. I'm so excited, people. This is the um, drink du jour for me, backed up only by this. I've got my um, uncaffeinated drink du jour, my caffeinated drink du jour, and Rusty. Rusty knows I love my cook talk. Mm. This drink is so good for the digestive system. It tastes like Diet Coke. Seriously. What's Diet Coke? What is Diet Coke? I'm never even teaching you what Diet Coke is. Be so glad that you did got to skip that generation of females who drink Diet Coke and may you never drink Diet Coke or even know what it is. So, um, and that said from a person who definitely went through that phase and I feel like how could you not, I mean, I'm sure there are females who didn't, but I know so many of you who are watching this are like, oh yeah, check that box, did my decade addicted and obsessed with Diet Coke as my weight management strategy. There should almost be a book, a book on that, the Diet Coke diet. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> my fresh herbs. Anyone who's not yet ordering fresh herbs, people, it gives you that flavor that you want. It's so easy. We're gonna show you some real quick snack foods that you can do. And Russ is gonna pause that camera. All right. Um, we also have these kombuchas. They were a winner. They were a new product from last time and they got devoured. So we're doing those again. And I think anyone who's watching knows we did not have enough of these. This is this lemonade detox that I am all into. And it gives me something sweet. So if I feel like I want a juice or something like that, I don't do a lot of like sweet fruit juice. This is giving me that healthy element while giving me the feeling that I'm actually doing juice, right? It's like every now and then you do. Every now and then, even as an adult, I'm like, I just, I don't want water, I need juice. And this is kind of that. I like to have a different one on hand. Um, whoop, oops, there we go. Um, these sunflower seed squares, they are just this 
awesome little, you know, Nino treats um, and like an energy boom for Rusty also. I don't particularly like them for whatever reason you would think. Like we bought them because I was trying to find treats for myself of like an energy pack. I, I can't do it for some reason. It, it has Sarah like written all on it, but it doesn't give me what I want. I mean, the idea of mixing a nut butter with a chocolate, that's what I'm saying, has Sarah written all on it. But it doesn't do it, but the children love it. Rusty loves it. It definitely gives you a little energy punch um, to keep going with like easy food. And then we're doing like a little, um, you know, update of our toothbrushes. Try to do that once a month. So we did that and some gloss. We are doing some, um, you know, just everyone's back to school. It's a little early for orange season. You know how I feel about doing fruit out of season. I do not approve of it, folks. But that said, um, we've been trying to get just some food-based vitamin C in. And so we have found, and I've discovered all these fun ways to slice oranges. And they're actually really good. So it's organic Valencia oranges from the box store and we've just invented ways that the children actually like eating it even though they're much more into peeling the mandarins during the season when they're actually in. But it is helping us get some like much needed, I think, more fruit-based or food-based vitamin C in our diet. So excited about that. You know, I never like running out of my bag of limes. Rusty knows this also. I always got limes in the house. Um, and then Grayson just couldn't wait to get into these grapes. Oh, he yeah. saw these grapes and was like, get me out those, I need them. So, um, and then Grayson pulled Tower of Kombuchas, um, of which Taylor and I definitely are starting to help with. I don't know if Rusty ever does kombuchas. No, here. I love kombucha, but yeah. I haven't tried those. So get, you can do some kombuchas here. And then I love just having fresh spinach. It um, just again is on those Sarah solo nights. If I actually need to cook, although I often try not cooking people, but if I get hungry enough where I do need a meal, this is often what I go to and Rusty knows I'm always like cooking it for him and me. Um, so I think that is the, oh, and then always my full fat cream products. Who can, I don't know. If you are living your life without like cream in your life, if you're vegan and choosing not to, then that's fantastic. Or like detoxing and choosing not to, or you got all your reasons, more power to you. But if you're just someone who is like drinking milk, you know, upgrade, upgrade to cream folks. All right, so if you are not strategically choosing to cut dairy or cut um, milk out of your life, don't give up on that. Pleasure, don't pull that cream, because I'm telling you, it makes coffee. There you have mm -hmm. it. Oh, did you go over oh. the? Oh, the milk is butter. Yeah, so I talked about this. Um, we've tried a few of these cheeses. Um, at some point, Rusty and I'll have to post the videos where we're trying the cheeses and trying to find it. Miyoko's, I still want to find out what cheese you are dropping into the Urban, I'm like looking for an Urban Remedy product. Here we go. The Urban Remedy Salad, another company I love, and I don't know what cheese it was you dropped in their fall or winter salad, and that was obviously a fall or a winter ago. But it introduced me to their brand, and we just decided to mix up some of our butter dairy, you know, our real dairy, and we were trying some vegan butters. I need them to be soy free, and this is fantastic. Like, honestly, it has just been a fantastic product. Melts like butter, tastes like butter. It's good though. Does that make any sense? It's not butter, but it gives you the butter-like effect. And, and so we've just been, and it's really nice to cook with also. So it's really served the, whether it's on toast, whether you're cooking with it, um, and what I love is whenever I take something out, so if I take dairy out for a little while or do anything like that, it often forces me to get a little more creative in the kitchen. And that is how I have learned some of my best cooking techniques. You know, it just so depends if you're cooking things, what oil are you cooking them in? And often changing that up, often like baking. I actually feel like gluten-free baking, oftentimes you end up a better baker than when you were gluten because rather than just always going towards one type of flour, which would be wheat, I now have all these different types of flours that I can throw in and I know the different textures and things that they're going to do to the different recipes. And I'll tell you, same thing with what you're cooking with. There's a huge difference if you're frying something up in butter, avocado oil, olive oil, vegan butter, it lends itself to creating different textures on whatever you're cooking and different flavors in your mouth. So just giving you some ideas there. Sometimes you have to make it through some combinations you didn't like, but then you discover the like, oh my God, I wouldn't even go back to cooking something or something else because it cooks best in, you know, blah. So that's why we have some surprise hits in here in the cruise dome, as we are calling it. And um, yeah, and here is this day's haul. And um, that again, just want to show everybody, you know, people started to ask me, you flying high at 40 if you're telling me you're not on drugs which I'm not, 
and how are you like having so much fun? How are you having so much energy? How are you having such a good attitude, right? And I'm telling you, this is one of the streams in of energy is literally what food you are putting in and that's why I focus on it. All right. Uh, are, you, am I, are we still on camera? Yeah. yeah I'm like, are we still on camera? Yeah, because absolutely. No, because <laughs> no, 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 no. But I do mention it in almost every video. So All right. um, stay tuned. Yes, yeah, stay tuned because I'm not talking about that avocado hack. Just like, you know, I got plans for these things you can't see here that need some help. And some plans for stuff that you may or may not be able to see here that <laughs> need some help. And there's a lot of projects going on in September while we focus on some August projects here. So um, that has to wait. All right. Okay, everybody excited. That is somehow, avocado hack, <laughs> is dependent on Sarah taking care of business here. So Ooh. it is going to have to be a September or later project just to get you excited. And you're like, what is she doing with those avocados that she needs to like shave her legs earlier than showing <laughs> us the best ever avocado hack. And yes, folks, I need to be that ready to show off what is literally the life hack I might go into the history books for because it it is amazing. And anyone who I have introduced it to is like, oh, fuck, it actually works. How is it not on the internet? But I've literally made everybody I've told swear not to put it on the internet until I can get it on the internet. So um, get excited for when these legs get shaven because then you'll get that avocado hack. And that reminds me, the other thing I need to talk about is the thing that is not here that I cannot believe I did not order because now I'll have to wait till the next haul because I don't think there's anything else I didn't remember was hot sauce, folks. <sighs> How am I supposed to be hot saucing it? You know, especially that is where I eat. So I put so much hot sauce on this, right? And it is so good and I throw some other things on it, but um, there's so much in life I throw some hot sauce on because I definitely believe in hot saucing it. And I just somehow didn't get it. It was like I thought about it at different points while placing my grocery order and somehow they were got placed. I think I'm gonna need that waterproof mascara. <laughs> <laughs> what do I wanna say? Life can be this much fun. Go find it. <laughs>